Good afternoon, everyone. We're on the rock. I used to say Bishop, but he's at OSF in the emergency room. But God got him. He got him. Praise God. Hallelujah. He was saying, I'm glad you're going to be with our dear friend, Pastor John Thomas, because he's got it. He's got it. He's got my back. So, hello, everyone. We're on the rock, and that rock is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God's son. And we're going to today go to the Word of God and St. Matthew's, uh, the 16th chapter, beginning at verse 13. And, of course, we have the King James Version of the Bible. Uh, let's get to it in Jesus' name. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elijah, and other Jeremiah, are one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thy, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, mm -hmm. this revelation knowledge, mm -hmm. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Thus read the word of God. God's word is blessed already. We just need to adhere to it. Amen. Do what it says. Because the word is going to save us. And we're going to be judged Amen. by the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We love you today. And we want to give you the word of God. And we have a man of God who can give you the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And at this time, without further ado, I give you uh, the pastor, the Reverend John Thomas. Pastor Thomas. God bless you, Dr. Underwood. I love you so much. <laughs> we love you. Hey, as you um, Facebook and everybody out there in TV land, God bless you. This is your, your one and only JT. Um, we want to go ahead and start this off with a quick prayer for Bishop, as you yes, all know, Jesus. that he got rushed into the emergency room and um, he has people there taking care of him. And um, what, man, that, that speaks highly of you to still carry God's word and, and your husband trusting in you to carry God's word and say, baby, don't stay here with me. Just go ahead and go, go ahead. on the show. Yes, he did. But um, we're going we, 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 to we're gonna pray for him. But you know what? We're going to pray more for you. Thank you. Because I know when I was down and when I had cancer, it was hard for my wife because she wanted to trade places. Um, so I know how you feel um, because of the experience that my wife went through. So we're not just going to pray for Bishop, but we're going to pray for you too as well, okay? We're going to hold hands. Everybody out there, pray with me. Father, we thank you and we give you praise and honor and glory. Lord, you gave us the keys when you rose from the grave with all power in your hand. And yes. you said that whatever we bind on earth, yes, that Lord. you're binding in heaven and whatever we loose on earth, God, you said that you'll loose in heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. we come humbly but boldly before your throne of our bishop, Lord God, the, the man that served not only this community here in champaign Valley, Illinois, but God, all over this world on TV land, on radio, Lord God. God, we ask you right now, God, to walk in whatever room he's in and God, touch his body. The doctors got to research on WebMD and, and get uh, books and stuff. But God, ah. while they're researching, you already have the answer. So we dispatch an angel in there right now to heal him in the name of Jesus. And God, we always, it's normal and it's habit for us to pray for the sick. But God, not the, not the supporter of the sick, which is his help me, Dr. Underwood, who God, she's here and she's serving, but God, she is human. And she's worried about her husband. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Asha. I speak your peace that surpasses all understanding. Put and guard her heart and let her know, God, that you got it all in control, just like you did at Calvary. When they thought it was all over, it wasn't over. You fulfilled what you had to do, but then you also was resurrected. 
And like the song said, because you live, ah. that's why we can face our tomorrow. That's why we can face our today, our situation. So, Lord, we pray for your strength in Dr. Underwood, that she goes in there with your power and your anointing, that God, every, every room that she walks past just to get to her husband, folks will be healed, yeah. saved, and delivered. Ah. We thank you and we give you praise. Bless her faithfulness yes, to her husband. In the name of Jesus, and we give you glory and we give you honor. This prayer is prayed by faith through your blood and through that resurrection power. It's in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Thank all God. right. Thank you all for, for praying with us. Bishop is going to be fine. And uh, I think that young man's trying to get your attention uh, over there. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get to the word of God. Um, we thank God for being here. We thank God for... Um, allowing us to come and bring the word again. And then Sister Dr. Underwood was telling me all the comments that you all would give towards me. And I really want from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. I just do what I was raised to do by God and by my parents. Yes, Lord. That's to love God, love my family. And then that gives me the charge to love everybody else yes, and spread Lord. the word. So I thank you for giving me a platform and an opportunity to share God's word. You know, as a child, and I'm going to be all over the place, and y'all just uh, keep me in prayer because it's, it's a reason why I couldn't get a straight, direct message. So I was studying. So uh, while you was talking, I was praying to God. I said, Lord, you need to help me because I don't know what I'm doing. This is just notes on, because I don't know how God is going to lead. But, so many needs. Yes. So we, we, we used to sing a song when we was kids. Is um let me see. I think I typed the words, so I won't say the words wrong. And it didn't print. That's okay. The song goes, to be like Jesus, to be like Jesus. How I long to be like, like him. Mm. So meek and lowly, mm. so humble and holy. Mm. All I want is to be mm. like, like him. him. If you study the things about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he had to pay a serious price yes. for our freedom and our sins. Yes, yes. My mom always said, Dr. Underwood, you always got to watch what you pray for. Oh, Lord. <laughs> because what you pray for, you just yes, might get. Yet. And you might not get it the way you think you oh, should. Oh. And I think that's why the, the people of God, there's a lot of people falling away because, one, they're not getting talked. Lord Jesus. Two, they're not understanding that when God, when you ask God for something, for instance, when my daughter asked me for something, I said, well, my favorite word, and I get it from my dad and my mom is we'll see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you just don't want to give your children anything without them appreciating it. Lord Jesus. They have to deserve it. They have to earn it. They have to not even all that, but they have to appreciate mm -hmm. what they've been given. Mm -hmm. I would never dare to give my kids a brand new Mercedes Benz off the car lot. Oh, Lord. I'm going to go to J.D. Byrider and some other used car lots to see how they appreciate that car yes. that they have. Yes, yes. Then we'll go ahead and upscale and upgrade. Yes, yes. Then after that, then, you know, what I'm saying the Lord will bless yes. dad to buy them that Mercedes Benz. Yes. And that's what the Lord does with us. I read, I read every character in the Bible, and before they was used, God had to break them and oh. humble them. And you know what? Everybody always want to talk about being used by God, mm. but don't want to go through the process. Lord Jesus, tell the truth. One thing I, I, I shared with uh, Brother Noah, your nephew, yes. I said, man, you know what? I said, it's crazy how a lot of people want to be you, mm -hmm. but don't want to go through the things uh, you went through. Oh, Jesus. Because it, as you know, as a woman and mm. as a woman of God, it costs yes. to be anointed. Oh, my. You got to be humiliated, ah. disappointed. Lord Jesus. And some people don't understand it. And that's understandable, because, but that's the human side. Yes, that's why you saw in the prayer, I asked God for his strength for yes. you. Not our strength, because our strength is limited. Lord Jesus. Ah. But God's strength, mm. I mean, we're talking about a God. That didn't have any lidocaine. Lord G. Oh. He didn't have a cortisone shot mm. when he was getting stabbed on that cross. Mm. Ah. Mm. Every pain, every agony, every disrespect he took. And now look where he's at. He has a glorified body and he reigns with not just me, 
not with just you, but people that's in China, mm. people that's in Brazil, mm. people that is in Paris. Mm. We serve, doctor, an awesome God. Awesome, awesome. You hear me? An awesome God. So my question today is going to come from mm, mm, mm. the book of John. This is the King James Version, and mm, I'm going to have many scriptures. Um, this is coming from the book of John, chapter 11. I'm going to go from the 23rd verse through the 25th. This is the reading of the Lord. Jesus said unto her, thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in that resurrection at the last day. Mm. This is the one I like. Ah. Verse 25. Ah. Jesus said unto her, I am the I resurrection am. Ah. and the life. <laughs> he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Yes, Lord. <laughs> so if I had to pick a topic to share with you all today, I want to come from a topic, do you trust him? Mm. It's funny how we put our trust in people in our jobs, mm -hmm. but they'll let us go in any time. Oh, Lord. They'll go against protocol. They'll go against union rules. They'll try to cut corners. But yet and still, we have more faith in them Allah. Mm. than we have in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know you're right. Mm. We'll have more faith in the car that we drive, mm. knowing that at any time, anything can go wrong. It's funny that in two months' times, when I have my brand new truck, I've already had four recalls. Lord Jesus. I found out one doctor that the door could have opened when I was traveling, taking my daughter to St. Louis to her volleyball tournament. I learned that when I was taking my wife to St. Louis on our, 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 our honeymoon getaway, that the wheels could have locked. Lord have mercy. The engine could have blew up. But we have faith in those material things, those human beings that are known to fail. But it's crazy that we won't have, we won't trust and depend on God fully mm -hmm. and understand that he knows all. Mm -hmm. I asked a bunch of people, I said, what do you see around you? So if you were to ask me, I would say, mm -hmm. I see the cameraman, I see the camera equipment, mm -hmm. I see Dr. Underwood, I see the comments that are popping up on my Facebook page. <laughs> I see my reflection in the monitor. But if I ask you, guess what God sees? He's in Florida. Ah. <laughs> He's in Ireland. Ah. He's in Haiti. Ah. So we serve a God that's omnipresent, mm. who is all knowing. All knowing. And you know what? It is okay to have a human moment. Those of you that know, I had cancer. And did I have a human moment? If I sat here as a man and a man of God and told you that, oh, I believed in God all the way, I would be lying. I thought God failed. I thought, I, I, I thought, well, what did I do? Let me research. What, what did I do? I, I do people right. If I have a problem with somebody, I don't go on Facebook. I don't gossip. I go to them in love. Don't cuss them out. We sit down and talk. Brother, you know, you offended me the other day when you said something. I don't have to go behind your back and say stuff. I'm like, God, why me? I've never smoked before. Uh, yeah. So... Mm. Yes, I had, JT had a human moment. I did. And I thank God, and that's why I pray for you, because I have to be honest. Besides God and my mother, my sister, my daughters, my wife was right by my side. Yes. And my wife never was raised in church, but through my situation, she learned how to pray. Ah. She learned how to depend on God. And God has been blessing her back to back to back to back. Now, if that was the purpose, mm, mm. then if I had to use another mm. title, then I'm going to have to say, you've been activated. Ah, ah, Let me do it. Do you trust God? Let me do it. Activate it. Let me go backwards. Yeah. Then I'm going to end with, do you trust me? Have you been, you've been activated. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you that was born in the 80s, the 50s, the 70s, there was a, a toy called the glow pen. It was a couple, and they went into a store. They was intrigued by this little brother and this big brother. So 
mom said you're able to get one thing and so the the the, the kid in the car the little brother in the cart got a glow pan and the other guy of course he got his little trucks and stuff a little uh, hot wheel pack and the little kid, the little brother was just so intrigued about this pen. He said, Mom, can I open it? Can I open it? She said, yeah, just put the box right here with the barcode so I can pay for it. So they're sitting there and sitting there and sitting there, and the little brother looked, and the little brother looked, and the little brother, you know, kept grabbing the glow pen, and the mother, as mothers do, boy, give your brother that pen back and stop aggravating him. So he gave the pen back. So the couple was like, this is interesting. So something told them to follow. So they followed the, the family, you know, kind of, you know, discreetly. So they went in this aisle, the other one went in the other aisle. So they paid theirs, the couple paid theirs first. And then the uh, other couple uh, with, the, with the kid, the lady with the two uh, boys paid. And the boy was just so intrigued about his glow pen. But all of a sudden, he went out the door and the big brother got the pen and he broke it. And he gave it to the uh, her little brother. What happened was the glow pen wasn't activated until it was broken. Ah. God has to break us sometimes mm, mm, mm. to get us where we need to go, mm, to have mm. his word go out. Mm, mm, mm. We think we have it all because we know this, mm -hmm. but until God breaks us mm, mm, mm. and we got to trust in the Lord. Let me give you a couple of things and then I'm going to close. The trusting thing. It said, I asked God for strength and God gave me difficulties to make me strong. I asked for wisdom and God gave me problems to solve. Mm. I asked for prosperity. God gave me brains and brawn to work. I asked God for courage and God gave me dangers to overcome. Mm. I asked God for love and God gave me troubled people to help. I asked for favors and God gave me opportunities. Mm. I received nothing I wanted, but I received everything I need. Everything I need. So you have to trust God. God. I asked God to take away my habit. God said, no, it is not for me to take away, but for you to give it up. Mm. I asked God to make my handicapped child whole. God said, no, his spirit is whole. His body is only temporary. I asked God to grant me patience. God said, no, patience is a byproduct of tribulations. It isn't granted. It is learned. I asked God to give me happiness. God said, no, I give you blessings. Happiness is up to you. Mm. I asked God to spare me pain. God said, no, suffering draws you a part of worldly cares and it draws you closer to me. I asked God to make my spirit grow. God said, no, you must grow on your own, but I will prune you and make you fruitful. Mm. I asked God for all things that I might enjoy life. God said, no, I'll give you life so you may enjoy all mm. things. Mm. Last but not least, it's a conversation between man and God. God, can I ask you a question? God said, sure. Promise you won't get mad, God? God said, I promised. Why did you let me sup? Why did you let so much stuff happen to me today? God said, what do you mean? Man, well, I woke up late. God said, yes. Man said, my car took forever to start. God said, okay. Man said, at lunch, they made my sandwich wrong and I had to wait. God said, hmm. Man said, on the way home, my phone went dead just as I picked up a call. God said, all right. Man said, and on top of it all, when I got home, I just want to soak my feet in my new foot massage and relax, but it wouldn't work. Nothing went right today. Why did you do that? Here's God. Let me see. The death angel was at your bed this morning. Mm. I had to send one of my angels to battle him for your life. I let you sleep through that. Man said, oh. God said, I didn't let your car start because there was a, there was a drunk driver mm. on your route that would have hit you if you were on the road. Man looked ashamed. Mm. God said, the first person who made your sandwich today was sick, and I didn't want you to catch what they had. I knew you couldn't afford to miss work. Mm. Man said, okay. 
God said, your phone went dead because the person that was trying to call you was going to give false witness about what you said on the call. I didn't even let you talk to them, so I didn't. I let the phone die. Man said softly, I see God. God said, oh, and that foot massager, it had a shortage in it. Ah. It was going to throw all of the power out in your house tonight. I didn't think you wanted to be in the dark. Lord Jesus. Man said, I'm sorry, God. God said, don't be sorry. Just learn to trust me mm. in all things, the good and the bad. Man said, I will trust you. God said, and, I, and don't doubt that my plan for you for your day is always better than your plan. Man said, I want God. And let me just tell you, God, thank you for everything today. God said, you're welcome, child. It was just another day being. Mm, mm, mm. So mm, mm. trust God, ladies and gentlemen, mm, because mm, when mm. things happen, that means you've been activated for the master's purpose. Lord, have mercy. So if you are a backslider and you want to give your life to Christ, it's just simple. Just say, Lord, it's me. I want to give my life to you. I'm not perfect. I don't know much. There are some generational things that I deal with. But God, I trust you today. Because the men of God read those things and it pricked my heart. Lord, have mercy. And today I want to give my life to you. Help me and send me to the right facility, the right people yes, yes. that will help me grow to give you glory and to give you praise. If you prayed that prayer, ladies and gentlemen, you are saved today. God bless you. May the face of heaven smile upon you and you be blessed. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What a word. Trust. God. See, we don't know, but he knows everything. Amen. Because <laughs> I you know, said, Lord, why? Why you let this happen to me? But I don't know he's protecting me. But see, I, if I knew everything, you know, I probably wouldn't need God. There you go. <laughs> but I need him. We need him. Thanks. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a word. What a word. Thank you, Jesus. And I was just thinking, you know, I would pray so much because I have a handicapped son. And I used to say, Lord, heal him. But God didn't. However, what he let him do, be able to do anything he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. He got a family. He got six kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, he, would, he was able to drive several palsies, is what he had. He was able to drive, you know, and he always said, Mother, you made me strong. See, uh, he would walk one step and fall five. Mm -hmm. But God blessed him to be able, he's 50 some years old now, with, with one grandchild. To God be the so glory. I was just thinking, God is able to do it for me, he's able to do it for everyone else. He doesn't give you what you're asking for all the time. But he knows, he knows. all things well. And, and the thing is, when you didn't get elected, God could have done that because he was protecting you or something. You know, could be because some people say they would have ate you up. They would have. <laughs> and God, and see, God loves us so that he protects. Have you ever heard your, your mother, your father say, I whoop you because I love you? Yes. You will, we didn't understand that as a child, but now we do as we're grown. I said, but Lord, I worked so hard. You know, and I tried so hard. But God protected you. Yes, Lord. Just like that uh, when he said, God, my car wouldn't start. Yes. Well, if his car would have started, he'd have backed up. He would have ah. got hit by the drunk driver. Mm. You would have got sabotaged by somebody political. Jesus, Jesus. But God loves you enough, doctor, that he preserved you. Yes, Lord. God doesn't preserve us. We think that if he walked across the street, I'm supposed to snatch him up. That's no matter how God do it. God might send a wind or a dog, and he might run the other way, not knowing the dog is not going to bite you, but God made that dog. He said, hey, go get my son over there so he won't get yes. hit by that car. Yes. He does it his way. His way. His way. And his way is the right way. But we might want it done one way, but God loves us so much that he came through 42 generations, mm -hmm. suffered, bled, and died. For you, 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 and I say especially me. You know, we were saying at communion the other day that he had, we were remembering him. He had us on his mind. Before we thought of. 
my I was on his mind during that time. So we're remembering him. Amen. And you know they talked that, about that cup. He knew what was in that cup. He sure did. But he said, nevertheless, I drink it up. For you and I. So why can't we trust him? I'm trusting him now that everything's going to be all right with Bishop. Why? You know, one time Bishop had to go to the hospital. And you know what? The man next to him needed to be reconnected with God. Mm -hmm. So he had to suffer to someone else. There you go. So when you go, you see, me? When you go see when you go see Bishop, what I want you to do is grab his hand and say, Bishop, raise your hand and say with me, God, I trust you. Yes. yes. That's what you do when you leave yes. here. Would you do that for me? I will. I will. Trust I will. in God. <laughs> Trust in God. Proverbs say, trust in the Lord yes, with all God. thine heart and lean not to thy yes, own understanding. But in, in all, all thy ways. ways. So you can be human in that all. Yes, yes. You can kind of doubt in that all mm -hmm. because God understands. Yes, yes, yes. But when in that doubt, acknowledge him. Mm -hmm. And what is he going to do? He'll direct your path. your path. You know, direction is so important. It is. Uh, uh, this morning, uh, my nephew and I was, uh, I was driving the truck. And we at Parkland had this um, where you could go take uh, electronics, and it started with direction. And I was trying to tell him the importance of following direction. It was so easy mm -hmm. when you follow direction. There you go. We got, and this is our. This is our direction. Asha, thank you, Lord Jesus. Follow the direction. But we have to do this every day. Every we day. got to read this word every day to get the direction from him on what we should do. We got to pray, to talk to him, to see which way. We cannot, some people think we can live this by ourselves. Mm -mm. We so strong. We cannot live this life. He got to live it through us. Exactly. And, so when, we, and when we read the law, we got to believe and trust him. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name. Mm, mm, mm. You know, I was just reading the 17th chapter of uh, St. John uh, the other day uh, when Jesus was praying that prayer. Um, I say, these words begin at verse 1. I'm just going to read. We don't have that much time, but I'm just going to read some of it. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee. All this is in red. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is the only true God, and Jesus know thee the only true God. And Jesus, I'm, I'm not saying, uh, three, and this is the life, this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. This is Jesus talking to his Father. I have finished the work mm -hmm. which thou hast given me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify thy me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, he said. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine. And thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am not no more in the world. He was getting ready to go. But these are in the world. He wanted God to keep them. 
and I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thine all name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. And none of them is lost but the son of her addiction. We know who that was, Judas. Judas. That the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee. And these things I speak in the world. That they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world has hated them because they are not of the world like they do us. They hate us for no cause because Jesus lives in us. Even as I am not of the world, I pray not that thou should take them out of the world, but thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Mm -hmm. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And for their sake, I sanctify myself, that they also may be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That's us. Mm -hmm. Ah, that they all may be one as thy father are in me and I in thee. That they also may be one in us. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me I have given them that they may be one, even as we are one. Thank you, Jesus. I in them and thy in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and has loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will also, they also whom thou hast given me, got to of two men, be with them where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thy love is me before the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. O oh, righteous Father, this is some prayer, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and I will declare it, that the love wherewith, wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. That's the prayer Jesus prayed before he was about to go back. Mm -mm -mm. It's some kind of prayer. And we are a result of that. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is going to be with us. And we can trust in him. Say believing. How did, uh, how did he say that? Be, uh, trust is knowing. So you got to know this thing. Mm -hmm. When you trust, you got to know. And how do we know? Through his word. Amen. If the word said it, that sells it. Amen. If he said, that sells it. We got to believe it Amen. in Jesus' name. And so we can accept the work that he's done on the cross. Romans 10, 9 and 10. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. And the, the pastor's already told you here. You can be saved. And he wants everybody saved. He died for all of us. But we've got to accept him. If you got money in the bank, you got to go there and get it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Praise God. Thank you for God. having me. So we'll see you all next week. 
See you all next week. All right. God bless you. God bless you. Love you. But most important, Jesus loves you.